Tonight? Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll go. Okay. I don't know where I'm at. I don't want to be here right now. Uh, I know where I want to be. This is actually where I want to be right now, out here in the open wild. I mean, the other place I wanted to be at, but at the same time, it was graduation. I sang for some of my friends with the choir that I'm part of, but um, with graduation, it's uh, it was kind of a sad time. A lot of my close friends were graduating and uh, moving away, so that was a little tough. But what better um, therapy or relaxation to take the stress off than just going out into the open wild, just looking around? I mean. As you can see from the video right now though, we are going to be going fossil hunting, but we're out in Montana right now because there's a spot I wanted to show you guys. As you can tell, this is one of them. Uh, it's the Medicine Rocks up in Montana in the state park there. And so here's one of the rocks behind me. And there's a few others around the area. There's more hidden in the trees. But uh, we're going to go on this loop here and uh, see what else we can find while we're out here before we go get some fossils. All right, I've made my way in. To some of the trees for more of the rocks in here. Ooh, oh, it's got some moss on it. Nice. And so I've seen this little cool little dugout area in here. So I just have to come over and fall some of these trails into it. Let's show you guys around. One thing that does get to me uh, about this place, which uh, um, more or less than uh, generally anywhere really is like you see all of these carvings. Uh, that aren't from uh, historic times, but from people carving their names and stuff. And that really kind of disgusts me a bit because it takes from the beauty of it all. But people are going to do what people are going to do, I guess. Though, but why don't we hike on out of here, I suppose, and get to the main event of this video with the fossils. All right, so we're back at you now. We're actually out fossil hunting this time. By we, I mean him. I kind of noticed on some of the playbacks a little bit too, there's a little, that kind of can be a little spotty on the camera. I'm sorry, I gotta wash that. We've had this camera for about four years now and I've never once washed the screen. My bad. But hey, fuck you. Sorry, we do not condole. Oh, well, fuck it, it's too late now for language. We're about like six years too late for language. <laughs> Ten by my count, but close. <laughs> Something like that. But no, yeah, so we already found one wherever we lost it at. Back there. And I should have paid more attention to where I said, Ah, there it is, found it. Yeah, here we go. There's one right there. Ammonite shell imprint there. You can see here, I'll put a tort against the sun. There we go. Oh man, she looks pretty. Yeah, just out here in the fucking prairie next to a lake. That's pretty cool. I don't want that one though, so we're gonna sit that there. Someone else can find that. Hey, yeah, we'll uh, pop back in when we find some more stuff. Ah, oh, man. There's a pretty one. Ain't all that great, but she is pretty. That shiny part, that's an old cephalopod uh, imprint remain there. Oh, man, she's kind of pretty right there, shining in the sun. Oh, man. You find cool stuff like that on rocks out here. Ah, spider web! I don't want it anymore. There's a spider. Oh, Tanner's got something. Oh, he's got an old oyster shell kind of broken up. Let's get a zoom in on that out of the sun. Oh, kind of looks cool with the sun like showing through it too. Shing! Sparkle, sparkle. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking. Oh, there oh, she is in the God. water there. Oh. Oh, man, nice and polished off for us. Oh, I think that'd be a keeper in my books. Hell yeah. That's a nice one. It's all distinguished. There's part of it still left. Oh man, you can see how big it was too back in the day. The girth. Please stop doing that. It's girth. Please stop. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo. She's pretty. Oh yeah. We'll keep her. We'll keep her. Hit the gold mine, my friend. Oh yeah. We kind of find them now. All right. We got this nice, beautiful imprint in there. Oh, and look at what Tanner found. Hot dickety daffodils. Get in the shade so you can see that with no glare. Damn, that is pretty. Oh, that's a nice one. God. Uh, oh, you kind of find a little one there. I can see, I got a glare on my screen. <laughs> oh, hot daffodil. dill. Yeah. See, you never know what you're gonna, oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. Just seen it. Oh, oh, right in there. Oh, look at that one. There's a pretty one. It's a king crawl. 
Oh yeah, you got, hey look, you even got a little crystal action going on in there. Holy shit, what do you find now? Oh, more crystals. Oh wow, that's a really distinguished. That's a wand. Looks like, no, it's just a cluster. Oh god, yeah, that's fucking beautiful though. Yeah, we're, that's a keeper. Oh yeah, that's definitely a keeper. Woo, oh look at this. Just right there in the rock. In the rock. Okay, I think we need to stay here for a little bit. All uh, right. Oh god, yeah. Oh man, holy shit. We're fighting so much right now. Where's the Tyrannosaurus tooth at? Nope, that's a spider. Nope, nope, there's a whole lot of nope going on right there. So if you recall, uh, in a previous video, uh, it was in the Frozen Winter video. That's what it was. The Boone Adventures, the Frozen Winter. Uh, I was explaining about fossils because it's the same lake uh, where we had come out and I was talking about fighting fossils and there was that beautiful sunrise coming up and I just realized too, back in that video, when I was explaining about this sunset area, or, or see, I did it again. Back uh, in that video, I was saying about how it was a beautiful uh, sunrise and I couldn't resist the, the chance to shoot it. But, and then I was talking about finding fossils and then I showed you some of the ones I already had, but I kept calling the sunrise a sunset, which I already did while explaining it to you. But see, you gotta know your words at the same time. But yeah, so, this all was underwater at one point in time. And so you can find fossils like that out here in the prairie, just out of the lake, or even in the given prairie. And one of my favorite ones I found out here a while back, back in uh, April, was uh, this little gem. Like, I mean, this is a pretty big rock like that. I would not leave with a big rock in hand for no reason. See, there was this really defined one in there. I mean, which is pretty cool, I thought. So I was like, at first I was gonna leave this, but I was like, you know what? I'm going back for it, let alone I was already 10 miles out from here when I decided to turn around and get it. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. But not just here though, on the level plains though, uh, you can find fossils. You can also find them up high in the hills of the Black Hills area. And we're gonna show you that here in the next scene. All right, so in a remote location out in the hills here, we got, like I told you, you can find just about all the way up here, coral head right there, fossilized. Elevation is probably over 3,000 feet right now above sea level, assuming. I didn't look at a map before I came out, but it just shows you how much of this was actually underwater. But I will come back at you once I find some more stuff. <laughs> All right, so as much as I want to keep going on with uh, our awesome fossils that we're finding, I mean, nothing like this really, but there's also one thing I also want to point out is uh, when you're out looking for fossils like that, there's other things you can come upon such as agates, uh, quartz, minerals, really cool rocks, or even some uh, crystals. And so, well, give you a better look on that one. That one's, that's my favorite one. <laughs> but so, uh, yeah, you always want to keep a lookout for that. And also, sometimes you may not know it, but there are some rocks that, that uh, well, more like quartz and minerals that you won't know they're actually something unless you have a UV light. And that's where we're gonna take you right now in this next scene here, so. Check this cool shit out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wow, now that's what I'm talking about with minerals. Oh yeah, oh no, there we go. Very nice. So those were our two minerals in there. Uh, mineral fluorescence and mineral phosphorescence. Two different kinds though, dealing with wavelengths. Mineral phosphorescence is with uh, short term uh, radiation wavelength and uh, it's caused by the release of absorbed energy as visible light after remo removal of ultraviolet radiation source. And then the mineral fluorescence is caused by the absorption and transformation of invisible ultraviolet energy to visible light which is really cool to have those two types of minerals in there. And before we go, I, th I wanted to show you guys uh, two more of my favorite fossils that I still have, and uh, that would be a Blockbuster, Blockbuster membership card and a flip phone. And while you sit there and judge me on why I still have both of these items with me, I will see you guys next time in the next video. So until next time.